little more easily. So we're ready. By a remarkable coincidence, the clubs are scheduled to meet today in the Premier League. Tuesday, so they can see plenty of each other. A dream come true for referee Phil Dowd. It's uh, still regarded as the ultimate honour. for the FA Cup here at the new Wembley. Branislav Ivanovic. John Terry is still playing uh, with the damaged ribs there on the men, but he's been through the pain barrier a few times recently. Towards Drogba, Lampard making a supporting run, and Drogba trying his luck, which has been good here very early on. That's a good diagonal ball from Ivanovic. The ball dropped quite deep then. Didier yeah, Drogba, a free header. Lampard breaking forward from midfield. A bit too optimistic there from Didier Drogba. Nothing about Liverpool. Bellamy's going to start on the right hand side and down in on the left, which was what we thought. Roberto Di Matteo scored inside the first minute. And that is Controversy, one of the goals clearly well, didn't cross the line at a crucial time. Glenn Johnson got the winning goal for Liverpool against his former club in the Premier League meeting at Stamford Bridge in November. A very good switch of play, didn't it? With that inside and here with his left foot. He's a much better player when he's in attacking areas. So as the Chelsea left backs really up against each other, Johnson and Ashley Cole. Jamie Carragher is only amongst the substitutes. It's good. Liverpool that have played 
counter-attacking football against Chelsea. And Chelsea at their best under Mourinho. Got some good results. Liverpool sitting deep, trying to catch Chelsea on the break. So that's what they're going to try and do again today. It's always interesting to see where Steven Gerrard is uh, placed when he chooses to go. Having, uh, a recent win at Norwich with Suarez, who was on the ball there, got a hat trick. Gerrard supported him as a midfield player. Really almost off the front, but he's starting a little deeper here. Allowing, I think, the, the wide men Downing and Bellamy to give Suarez more support further up the field. But he'll pick his moments, Gerrard. Incidentally, he needs one Liverpool goal for 150 for the club. Quite a way to do it to score the goal in that respect that will win the FA Cup. Spearing. Haga, it's a little uh, tentative, as you might expect, even for the most experienced of players. This is such a massive event. Good first season, Liverpool Enrique, the first part of it. One of the success stories of Dalglish's summer transfer buyers. Suarez or indeed up alongside him. He's heading back out to the uh, right hand side at the moment. Spirit. Dropped it nicely and well taken by Glenn Johnson. And he goes, referee down. Doesn't acknowledge uh, any uh, foul. Matter. Raquel has got back in favour since Roberto Di Matteo took over. And two players, Kalu that was out of the picture. Previous bias. He's come back in. He's done quite well. And Kalu coming out on that left hand side. Schubert forcing his way in front of Skirtle and coming on to Kalu. Drogba taking over. Put it back in for Kalu, just trying to slide it through there. Close the gap in the nick of time, but the ricochet finds Kalu offside. Oh, Cole pressing the ball high up the field, now in Liverpool to play out. Oh, he stand in an offside position. His previous run forward. Drogba tried to get him in, I think it would have been offside, and the ball got through to him on that occasion as well. FA Cup final, they've won it seven times. Chelsea beat them today, it would be their seventh success. And John Terry could become the first captain to hold the cup aloft four times for one club. And the entire history of the FA Cup would be something for the record books. An argument between Agar and Enrique there. Enrique to stay in his space rather than go towards the ball. He realised the ball was going to be played down the side. The Sigma. And uh, it was lucky it got to Ashley Cole and made it into a pass in the end. Liverpool, apart from winning the League Cup in there, a bit lucky to do so against a side from. Uh, Championship kind of city, plenty shootout in the end. They had a prestigious semi final win of their own against Everton after going 1 0 down. And it was suspended from that game, as was the uh, second choice goalkeeper, Alexander Doni, having uh, Australian Brad Jones to get back into the limelight briefly. He's here today. Third choice, and of course, not on the team sheet in that respect. He's got the kicks from Kenny Chip going out of play, just over the head of Kenny Dalglish. Suarez there, and the ball was played up to him. I thought it was a foul by John Terry. Just foot around the front of Suarez, it was chest high. Gerard. Lampard. Johnson to get a foot in. 
with some senior citizens. It's a fine line between having the experience on occasions such as this and being deemed too old. to uh, get down the outside. The one thing he won't beat Ashley Cole for is pace. He is quick, Bellamy, but so is Ashley Cole. And Bellamy is playing out on that right-hand side. The threat he will pose is when Ashley Cole goes forward and then Liverpool break quickly. Matter for Ramirez. Gets away from Jose Enrique. First chance is Chelsea's. First goal is Chelsea's and Ramirez. In the 11th minute. Well, that's what he's been doing so well, Ramirez. Talk about it beforehand, his counter-attacking ability. One matter does really well here, getting himself turned. And he just plays the ball, it's an excellent ball. Enrique sells himself, then he can't get back. Aga can't get across. Pepe Reina thinks it's going, going to the far corner. And he hits it hard, he gets a hand on it, Pepe Reina. But he's got such energy, such pace for Ramirez. And that goal came out of nothing, just by Matter getting turned on the halfway line and playing the ball forward. Well, the last two FA Cup winners have been coached by an Italian. And Chelsea take a step to making it three in a row and putting Roberto Di Matteo's name on that list of men who've won it as a player and as a manager. Well, make the play at a higher tempo. Started the game off slowly. Counter attack now, they've got a chance. Enrique. Suarez. Gerard trying to burst through. And here's Mata. Interception by uh, Bellamy allowing Henderson to intervene. picked up, and Liverpool going to chase the game. Gerrard. Johnson. There's a side team looking to hit back straight away. Jose Enrique. Perfectly hard to try and get across him, but unsuccessfully. There's a counter-attack on for Chelsea again. Gerard came back and got the ball. Fell down, acknowledging that it was bordering on the rash. Decision there favouring the Liverpool skipper. Downing, who's man of the match in the uh, League Cup final here. Suarez. Johnson turning Drogba, and it's a difficult ball for Ivanovic. And Bellamy had the shot, Ivanovic was really struggling. Ben Johnson did so well on that far side. And Liverpool stung, very nearly retaliating with an equaliser. Well, it's a great bit of play by Glenn Johnson down the right-hand side. Puts it into a dangerous area, there's nothing Ivanovic could have done about the header, he had to get some sort of block on it, and then he... Got the second block in from Bellamy's shot. Good response from Liverpool. James Robert was in the left back position up against Glenn Johnson on that occasion. He was skinned. And only three of the last 18 FA Cup finals have both teams scored. One of them was, of course, when Liverpool fought back. Seemingly beaten, they went 2 0 down to West Ham. Eventually, uh, triumphed on penalties. A thriller in Cardiff's Millennium Stadium in 2006. Also saw Chelsea come back against Everton. Also, they scored a very early goal. And as you pointed out, uh, right at the start, Stuart, of course, Liverpool won the cup in 2001 when they were seemingly played off the pitch by Arsenal. And Michael Owen turned it around in the closing minutes. So, uh, Liverpool supporters won't be uh, 
writing this off yet. Mm. It certainly counts from that point of view. The single. Baron wins it back. Suarez seeing check off his line. Now that would have been one for the cup final annals. He's in his own half, Luis Suarez. Well, he did so against Norwich. Carrow Road a little while ago. It was a great strike that day, and that one wasn't. Matter. Just the thought on the goal, Stuart. Uh, Jose Enrique culpable in the first place, and then Pepe Reina. It wasn't the best for the two Spaniards, was it? it certainly wasn't. Enrique needed just to drop off, trying to go towards the ball, and allowed Ramirez to go past him far too easily. Here's Kalou. Wembley man Didier Drogba, Ramirez has already scored today. No one was running in, and had someone been running in, maybe Reina wouldn't have done that. I actually think Pepe Reina, what he was trying to do was to give Ramirez the far post so that he could anticipate where the shot was going to come in because everything said that Ramirez should have hit it into the far post, but he didn't, he just went for power. And Pepe Reina started to go and then couldn't get his hand up quickly enough. Block the shot. Good defensive play from Enrique or Reina. Agger. Skirt. Continue that theme of Liverpool being behind here, behind in the semi final to Everton, behind in the League Cup final. See the Cardiff City skirt and an equaliser there. Terry. Kenny Dalglish himself has a fantastic record against Chelsea. Uh, representing Liverpool as player and manager. Down. Made by Terry. And as far as Agger. Mikel. Beat by Drogberis. Before he was fortunate then that uh, Bellamy slipped. Cole. Barcelona. Jim Terry could actually be one of Chelsea's best attacking players here because every time they switch the ball out to him from this side of the field, it's the at the moment. When Ashley Cole goes forward, Bellamy's going all the way back with him. Suarez comes across to Ivanovic. As soon as they switch it to Terry, he can come out 30, 40 yards with the ball. through Skirtle in the end. Actually, he's trying to take a touch one side. And the defender, Skirtle, and go the other side of him. It's a great break from Chelsea. Good football. It came about because Gerrard was brought down on this side of the field and then gave up on it, and it meant that we were outnumbered in midfield. Tallou. Committed challenge by uh, Skirtle. Back, uh, two years to the last time Chelsea did beat Liverpool. It's a result that helped them win the title. And uh, Carlo 
Ancelotti. The lead title, that is. And I think Liverpool were too uh, unhappy about the defeat because it stopped their great rivals, Manchester United, winning the league. The single. Drogba. Met in the FA Cup was in the semi final. Paul White on the way to their overall triumph in 2006. This is the 10th time they met each other in this competition. Four Liverpool victories to Chelsea's five. This is unhappy with the pass that he got from Jay Spear. And the problem that Liverpool have got, they've got Henderson. And Spearing in that central midfield area, they do like that little bit of creativity. Drogba getting behind uh, Skirtle. So 1 0 to Chelsea. Just over 20 minutes gone. Tightly marked, he's up against two centre halves. Bellamy doesn't look as though he's going to get in behind Cole. Downing doesn't look as though he's going to get in behind Basingwa. So they're having to play a very patient game here. The pass is square, and back now comes the forward pass. So, along the ball from Gerrard. Downing pursues and keeps it. Downing's made a very nervy start to the game. That's two. There's Enrique, and here comes the goal as well. Strikes through the ball, Ramirez. You can see that Reina starts to go. His body position's all wrong. Hits him on the left hand. He just can't keep it out. But his energy, his pace will cause Liverpool problems. So that's the uh, boy from uh, Benfica, the boy from Brazil. Chelsea, an advantage here. Pepe Arena talking quite openly in the build-up to the final, saying he hasn't had a good season. And I think that will only be another moment that he won't look back on it fondly. Once again, the ball forward wasn't a good one from Skirtle. Suarez has made a good run in behind Ivanovic. Double play straight up. Suarez up front, they need to press the ball higher up the field, so they're playing in and around Suarez, winning the ball back in these sort of areas, just inside Chelsea's half, and then Suarez will come in to play more. He's a little bit isolated. Been a very busy season for Chelsea, this is their 58th game, all told. to come. Kalou. Let's open up for him. A second as though he was going to come up with a, a Ricky Villa moment then. So, it was a solo well. goal. Glenn Johnson allows him to come inside, but you only let somebody come inside if there's another midfield player or a centre-half coming to close the ball down, but they didn't. They didn't see the run of Kalou. He just ran into the box. I think it was Dagger that just about got the challenge in. Drogba. Feeling uh, in the Chelsea camp with Drogba, obviously favourite to start this game, that will start the Champions League final as well, and Torres will probably start the two uh, league games in between. I think Drogba's got a better deal, don't he? Yeah. Maybe he's earned the better deal. Maybe he'll have another deal with Chelsea, seems unlikely. Torres, he has been uh, finding a little bit more the sort of form the Liverpool fans in the stadium would recognise from his time with them. Tricky games, comes back round us last weekend, certainly helped. Down. Spearing. 
Gerard who takes uh, so much responsibility. Has to, has to keep the right shape for Kenny Dalglish. There's been a certain amount of confidence in their build up play. Oh, the fans are getting very frustrated with the way they're passing it too much. Here's Angus trying forward with a couple of options outside him, one of whom is Jose Enrique. For Daniel Agger again, so all the effort went into reaching the ball, and there was none left for the crossing of it from the day. Lampard. Here's Drogba. Kalou. Not sure that Drogba's pass was aimed for Kalou. Ramirez running through the centre, in fact, Drogba apologising to Ramirez that he didn't find him. Well, when it does come to go, you're quite right. Really, Drogba's trying to hit this with a bit of power. He gets it under control. Can he reverse the ball back into the run of Ramirez? Maybe so. It wasn't a particularly good effort from Kalou. That's what frustrates some of the Chelsea fans about when he's finally an end product of the final ball. He's always been the best in his time at Chelsea. Who's found favour with Roberto Di Matteo when he was out of favour under Andre Villas Barge? Mata, who's uh, played pretty much uh, the majority of the games for Chelsea, forcing out a weak clearance from Aga. Kalou, stopped by Jordan Henderson. Gerard Suarez knew that uh, Downing was waiting behind him. Jose Enrique on the overlap. It's there before Basingua. Loses his way, and then Ramirez gives it straight to Suarez, who just bounces off Lampard. No foul. I think Lampard's been watching Suarez because when he tries to do it in the round the box, Suarez has always tried to nutmeg players. Go straight through them. He does it really cleverly. Lampard saw it coming. He's got his body in the way. Ramirez. Drogba. Ramirez again. It was an easy kick for Reina, having to reach for it. Wedged forward by Lampard, chased by Drogba. Keep it in this time. I've seen so many of those passes here at Wembley in the past. Lampard just lifting balls forward. The Didier Drogba who falls between the centre half and the full back. He's a bit over ambitious from Henderson. Henderson's gone to the right-hand side, and Bellamy's now playing behind the main striker, which means Gerrard has to go a little bit deeper. Gerrard's not doing a particularly good defensive job at the moment. Mikel. It's a fair way out, but uh, Lampard's never been shy of shooting. He's got good technique. That's really the back of the ball. Dip and swerve. They came to see so far. Long and not easy journey down. Even harder getting back with the uh, later kickoff. And worse when the FA Cup started, the first final. And in 1872, 140 years ago, kicked off at 11 o'clock in the morning. To avoid a clash with the Oxford Cambridge boat race. Flexibility. Well, I think the FA Cup final has suffered is that it's no longer standalone at the end of the season. I do hope the authorities have another think about that. And, uh, there was one Premier League game earlier today, and there's a point from Chelsea and Liverpool, a full set of the rest tomorrow.
Brendan Vince we're going to big relegation game on Monday. All these things are taking up some of the uh, publicity which would normally be reserved for the FA Cup final. See the runs and get good shape. And then done by Liverpool at all at the moment. And here's Gerard. He's there, there's hope, and there's a, a good hour to play still. Coming in the 11th minute from Ramirez for Chelsea. Spearing. Well, it looks a bad pass from Spearing, but Gerard started to make the run. That part with him, Spearman put his head down to play the forward pass, Gerrard turned away from it, started to come back towards the ball, he's got problems at the moment, Dalglish, the side aren't playing well. The side are doing pretty much what he's asked of them, and they performed, they uh, rejuvenated, to go from Andrei Villas-Barish, I should say he was promoted because, of course, he was the assistant for the um, head coach from Portugal. Hello. Away by Aga, collected by Mikel. Ramirez. Hasn't been a game of stops and starts, and great credit to Phil Dowd for that, but uh, Ramirez again with the speed off the mark that led to the goal against Jose Enrique. Yeah, just nicks this one round the corner. A little bit late. Oh, he's making sure he got the foul. A poor challenge from Enrique. Difficult first 30 minutes here. And Chelsea are not lacking in the set piece department. And the delivery with either the right foot of Lampard or the left foot of Mata. And the aerial power of Drogba, Terry, Ivanovic. To lose in there as well. Ready. In by Mata. Maybe Liverpool can counter attack here. Chelsea streaming back. Lampard gets in the way. That's a throw. Lampard's done a good defensive job so far. He's made a couple of forward runs, but he's seen the runs of Gerrard when he's been up against him. He's closed the ball down when Henderson's been on it and won the ball back off of him. It's expensive game that he plays at the moment. It's very effective. Lampard. Ramirez. Very confident you can understand why Mata, Ashley Cole joining in. Scored for two years. Drought then the pass by Lampard, Drogba. Power away. Good work done in that respect defensively by Downing. What space Ashley Cole had. As Bellamy's gone into a different position. Henderson was tucked in as well, and as soon as the ball was played to Ashley Cole, there's lots of space out there for him to attack. Anywhere with their passing. 
Dennis Johnson trying to give the lie to that. And he's uh, fouled. He looks the biggest threat at the moment, Glenn Johnson. He's got a good cross into the box. He's cut inside a couple of times. Here he's getting away from Kalou. And the cross Kalou. And the free kick. It's being the first choice right back in the European Championships. There we wait. The judgment of a new head coach and Lee Hodgson. Respect. Well, this does present an opportunity for Liverpool. Ten minutes to go to half time. To try and level the count. Taken by Gerard Skirtle. It's a good head to it. So, uh, the ball might have gone out. Time raised on the far side. It's offside. No, it was. Skirtle was in an offside position. As he comes around the back, he does really well to get it back into the danger area, Skirtle, but he was offside, yeah, good was decision offside. by the assistant referee. Great leap from Skirtle, keeping it in play, though. Much improved player, I think, this year. Skirtle. Gerard. Spearing. Look forward to Suarez, but this calculation by Ivanovic. in there in a manner to uh, certainly catch the eye of the referee. His job is to check out how uh, Gerard is. The ball was there to be won by both players. They arrive at the same time. Gerard just nicks the ball away. Oh, and it's going to twist his ankle there. Mikel catches him right on the end of the toe. Mikel's going to be booked for that. It was only fraction late. Chelsea well, played in one of the dirtiest cup finals I think there's ever been against Leeds in Old Wembley in 1970, was it? Mm. It's even dirtier in the replay at Old Trafford. It's the first time Chelsea ever won the cup. And Liverpool only won it for the first time in 1965, though we're talking about tradition. And these clubs have certainly had a lot of FA Cup finals on their CVs, but... Uh, it was a while before they got onto the roll of honour. The score of that uh, crucial Liverpool winning goal in 65 is here today. Ian St John. We chat with him a couple of hours ago and has hardly changed. Hanger with the free kick, defended by the single. Drogba. Good for Mata, but he's best with a good touch, as that showed. <laughs> Ashley Cole, Frank Lampard. <laughs> this is Didier Drogba. Over there, there's a couple now from long range, where the Chelsea feel that Pepe Reina might be uh, vulnerable. So if you hit the modern-day football, cut across it, can do all sorts of tricks in your favour and not for the goalkeeper's favour. Dip on it, it's always going wide. And that again played the ball to Didier Drogba. He's always going to play it. He's going to field it, just reversed it down the corner. Aga. Doesn't really affect Chelsea, does it, this pass at the moment? Liverpool. It's found uh, Suarez from Spearing. Telling cross, it took Terry out, and Cole had to play safe and knock it behind. A decent bit of play. Not enough players in the box for Liverpool. It was Henderson that was trying to get. At this point, they've got nobody in the box up against three or four. Actually, Cole didn't know what was behind him, had to put it away for a corner. The corner that Craig Bellamy will take. Maybe Martin Skirtle sensing a, a repeat of his calling. Cup final goal. Aga scored against Chelsea in the past in the Champions League. That's Aga who goes for it. Skirtle is a spearing. That's a crafty ball. Chelsea were trying to push out, but they didn't get an offside. And Czech has to 
hammer it away with a punch as he reached a good distance with it could come back from Jose Enrique but Mikel stops that Chelsea can't get out they've had so many back defending uh, the original corner and that's a good the goalkeeping by Petr Cech he almost didn't catch it he almost didn't try and palm it away so he had to get something on it far enough out the box to stop the problem Downing with Jose Enrique in close attendance flip on Downing by Basingua the referee missed Lampard 50-50 with Spearing which went to Liverpool's way here's Downing five forward for Liverpool here Spearing makes it six. Henderson coming in, good header down towards Suarez, who would like to have been able to take a touch or maybe have it where he could have headed directly for goal. He did well there, Henderson. Made his run early, came inside. Ashley Cole just went to sleep here. He's backing off Ashley Cole. Can't see Henderson. Henderson comes inside of him. All he's trying to do is head it into a, an area where Suarez could get onto the end of it. Certainly couldn't go for goal from that sort of distance. Played the right side of midfield player Henderson. <laughs> and Kenny he was, of course, great Liverpool number seven. He's also on the size, a very good header of the ball, mm. Kenny Dalglish. Kevin Keegan before him. That's kind of seeing him here today as well. Gathering mm -hmm. of the clans from uh, Liverpool and Chelsea. Spirit, Gerard. Cole had to be careful, he sensed things a bit tentative there, and he'd been booked. Bellamy lets it run, here's Downing. A bit more edge to Liverpool in recent minutes with their attacking play. Across it took a deflection and uh, headed out by Terry and booted forward by Ramirez, who has contributed the one goal of this first half. Aga easing matter out of the way, the way defenders always do. by Mata. Downing. In tandem with Jose Enrique, but Ramirez uses his pace now to uh, defend against a player that he got away from for the goal. And uh, a Brazilian foul by the Spaniard. And he's been exceptional this season, Ramirez. His energy, his work rate, breaking forward, now breaking to get back. It's not too much wrong with what Enrique did, but Ramirez won himself a free kick for his efforts started the season in the central area but it's been played out on his right hand side shows his recent games as his uh, pace and work rate preferred to Sturridge's uh, quality as a natural attacker it's amazing how things change when the manager new mm. manager takes over because Sturridge was obviously a firm favourite with Diaz Baez his right hand side for most of the time. And it is very much uh, Jordan Henderson out on the right hand side for Liverpool. So he's, he's taking the lead, Chelsea have forced Kenny Dalglish into a, a tactical rethink. I just wonder whether that was in the plan anyway after settling into a few minutes in the game. Back for the ball, he's on the halfway line, and he should be closer to Suarez. Now Gerard's gone a little bit closer. Make sure that it's a little bit off the cuff from Liverpool at times. If there's any instructions coming from the side that's making the change, or whether Steven Gerrard's dictating the change. Chelsea would be a plan to get to half time. Liverpool had a decent spell, more territorial pressure than uh, extra work for Pedacek, who, as Stuart was saying, had to make that to improvise punch. Kells on the receiving end. And uh, Aga is going to be on the receiving end. And, uh, caution here, if not for the foul, certainly for the way he's been protesting against it. Once again, it was good play from Lampard. They tried to play the ball in between Chelsea's midfield. Lampard saw it coming, got a slide tackle, and then the ball just went between Aga and Mikel. And Aga, frustrated that the ball had been given away, followed up and he was late on the challenge. Mean, the 
Mikel tries to make the most of it by jumping up in the air. It was the trailing leg that caught Mikel. Well, uh, coming towards stoppage time, as a minute of that. Stuart, your thoughts on the first half generally? Well, I think it started off very slowly, and I thought the game needed a goal. Without the blue, because it's the first real attack that Chelsea had had. They haven't caused enough problems. I think they've got to play at a higher tempo. They've got to play higher up the field. They've got to get the ball forward from back to front earlier. And they've got to get closer support to Suarez. Whether it be Gerrard, whether it be Bellamy, or whether it be the wide players. Otherwise, they're going to find it very difficult to break Chelsea down. Out right to the blue from the boys in blue, who still lead the closing seconds of this first period. by Agger. Bellamy. Suarez. A fade on that towards uh, Gerard. By Vanislav uh, Ivanovic. Trying to just pull in away there behind Glenn Johnson. He did the right thing, but the ball wasn't good enough. So he didn't realise that skirts were dropped off. We'll wait to see who will come on in the second half, but the first half is completed at the new Wembley, the FA Cup final 2012, and Ramirez pounced after slack defending by Jose Enrique, and in the end, not very good goalkeeping by Pepe Reina, and that is the moment of this first period at the break. It is Chelsea 1, Liverpool 0. Chelsea in the box seat at the moment, but it's not a lead that you would say is locked in, Stuart. Well, certainly not. Although Liverpool won't play particularly well, nor have Chelsea. Chelsea have been the more comfortable side and they've looked more threatening on the counter attack. And one matter has had a good game in the hole behind Didier Drogba. Liverpool need to up the tempo, both when they're closing down and when they've got the ball. the scorer it's building its own history the new stadium of the FA Cup finals long before the old Wembley started so the grounds have come and gone the drama is constant I've just got the feeling this is going to really bubble into something special. Straight away, Liverpool hitting a forward pass out to Downing. That's what Kenny Dalglish and his coaching team have said at half-time. We have to force the issue now, we have to force the tempo. We've got to play the game in Chelsea's half. Twice, Steven Gerrard has been an FA Cup winner for Liverpool when his team have been trailing. in the game. Looks as though Bellamy's going to play behind Suarez, start of the second half, and Henderson out on his right-hand side. Tugging on drug the shirt by Skirtle, but Chelsea go on. And threaded through to Ashley Cole by Kalou. Cole's initial response was to try and square it, hoping there was another runner in there to round it off rather than go for goal himself. Gerard again. Johnson lets it run to Henderson, who started the second half on the right as he finished the first. Johnson. Trying to uh, gain something there. Best decision is it from Ben Johnson trying to run through a couple of challenges. Not not the best decision well. either, is it? A call has been given. And the Lagos Squirtle will come up for this. Bellamy to take it, the fiery Welshman. Take it to his satisfaction. 
the volume will certainly be turned up in the second half. Both teams attacking the ends behind which their supporters in force. Didier Drogba as to how much pain the, he's feeling. Obviously, Cole would be disappointed when he got into that forward mm. position why he didn't shoot himself because it was a great run from him. Excellent ball from Kalou. And he tried to chop it back. It's a dangerous moment right at the start of the second half for Chelsea. They say about strikers, don't be afraid to miss. But I think Ashley Cole, as a left back coming forward, was a bit afraid to miss. And, Safer option, Isn't a fulfilling one. He's won a corner here off Johnson. Brilliant play from Ashley Cole. Played the ball forward, outrun Henderson. Johnson eventually had to get round and get the block in. A good understanding out on this left hand side at the moment. Cole and Kalou. I mentioned Liverpool coming back to beat Arsenal in 2001. Of course, Ashley Cole was in that Arsenal team. Oh, it's a corner for Chelsea. Swung in by Lampard. It's a free kick. Wouldn't have counted. But Terry was deemed to have pushed. Be interesting to see who fouled who here. Jim Terry's doing nothing wrong here. Look at look at Skirtle. How can that be a foul by John Terry? That's a ridiculous decision. Fouled out. Can those ones go in the defender's favour? something like that in the league, maybe below Everton for the first time for a long time. He's um, not so good. He win two trophies. Silverware is special. And that's the FA Cup as well. Yeah. That's why this game, as I said before, the was such an important game for both sides. Gerrard. Shift it and shoot here, and he's going alone. And, uh, Liverpool fans, as you can hear, hollering in his support. Found out, didn't blow the whistle in the support of the Liverpool skipper. And he's quite right as well. It's a good run from Steven Gerrard, make no mistake about that. Went past Lampard, he overrun the ball, and then he ran into the back of the defender. Positive play from the Liverpool captain. Agger. Down. That's his chances against Basingbo, can't stop the cross. Henderson coming into the far post, gets a good knock back across the face of the goal for the second time in the game. And out come Chelsea. More cut and thrust. Liverpool playing with a greater tempo and forcing Chelsea to do the same. Lampard. Early cross from Mata, and Reina was uncertain. I was glad that he dived in to intervene. Terry, a lovely touch to Mikel. Sometimes forget what a good footballer technically John Terry is. He's got two good feet as well, John Terry, right and left. Lampard, pass spearing with some ease. Drogba, makes space for the shot, he does! And Drogba, yet again, yet again at Wembley! at his lucky ground, but there's no luck about that. It's sheer brilliant, sheer bravado. It's Chelsea 2, Liverpool 0. Well, I talked earlier in the game about the combination between Frank Lampard and Didier Drogba. Didier Drogba pulling off between centre-halves and full-backs. What a pass it was also from Lampard here. He goes past the first challenge, he just pulls on the shoulder 
the defender, Didier Drogba, and then he hits it between the legs of Skirtle into that far corner. Not too much he can do about it. The goalkeeper, Rayner, excellent finish. Skirtle's got to get tighter. Suddenly, Liverpool are up against it. Well, a goal even earlier in the second half than the one in the first. Chelsea benefiting on uh, both occasions. Ian Rush, who has done so much uh, in FA Cup finals in uh, Liverpool's cause. And the goal getting of his proficiency. So Ramirez in the 11th, Drogba in the seventh minute of the second half. And Chelsea, and of course, swept aside Spurs in the semi final, are trying to do. The same to Liverpool on the big day itself. And Doug Leach has got to make some changes here. I think he already is. Just see Andy Carroll coming to the side of the pitch. Too much to do. He parried up on hand from his teammates. Chelsea looking to spring forward as they did when they got the second goal. Ramirez. It's actually cold from him, but uh, Skirtle, that's a little bit uh, sloppy from Drogba. He's got the ball back. And half the whistle gone. James Drogba. He's in handball, is he? Offside, he's. The assistant referee filled out. But here comes the substitution, and Jay Spearing is going to come off. And Carroll will play along Suarez, alongside Suarez. Anderson making his way more into the middle again. Out from the Liverpool area. Goes off to a Geordie striker from Newcastle. And of course to Liverpool on the back of Torres leaving Liverpool for Chelsea but uh, Carroll's got on quicker than Fernando Torres yeah, is now so they're going to play with two up front and two wide players and already Enrique's given the ball away this is Ramirez we're going to have a very open game now Chelsea can counter attack but Liverpool will need to get crosses into the box Singba reading it well Mikel Lampard. There's Kalu. Juan Mata. Drogba taking defenders away, allowing Mata in the range of a shot, a chip as it turned out. Rainer read it. He realised that the A drop would run offside and had to have the shot, but if he's going to shoot from that distance, he's got to go with power. Skirtle get tighter, yes he probably could, but it's still an excellent finish from Didier Drogba. The first player to score in four different FA Cup finals. And he's won the other three, and he's put Chelsea in a winning position, it seems. Recently, we have seen how dangerous a 2-0 lead can be in the Premier League. Manchester United in that vital game against Everton were twice two in front, and uh, only drew it in the end. Champions League semi-finals, the Spanish clubs, the 2-0 lead was a dangerous advantage, neither of them got through. How will it be for Chelsea here? The things that Liverpool have got to now do, this they've got to get the ball into wide areas, to down it to Bellamy and then get crosses into the box.
Chelsea is looking <laughs> extremely happy. field, get a cross in, a chance to involve Carroll in the air, dangerous now for John Terry and Branislav Ivanovic, a chance for Johnson to feed it in towards Carroll, just in front of him, importantly it was Ivanovic. It was a great cross into the box, I think Carroll would beat Ivanovic in the air, if you've got a player like Carroll, the height he is, he has got, he must start winning balls in the air. That's what he's in the side to do. And that was a great opportunity, I thought, for him. And now Ivanovic to lose a header. Absolutely right for it. Look how quickly Chelsea counter-attacked, and once again it was Ramirez and Drogba in that midfield area. Ramirez running forward with the ball, Lampard sweeping it out to Kalou. Lampard on the overlapping run just gave Kalou that little bit of space to get his shot away. Unless they're going to be forced from Liverpool, but they've also got to make sure they're not counter-attack too easily. strike again from Didier Drogba. So Skirtle just tries to get the block in, but it goes between his legs. He doesn't hit it with great power, but what he does, he hits it with great accuracy. And I don't think Pepe Reina was ready for it either. He wasn't expecting Drogba to hit it through Skirtle. He's made history. But what he will want to do is make the four different finals four victories. And there's still half an hour's work ahead. And maybe longer if Liverpool can find hour of need, some penetration. One thing in their favour, Chelsea have had a lot of games in recent times. A bit weary, sure that against Newcastle in midweek, although they have had a few changes, they rested their side, most of the side against Fulham, so they should be fresher. Downing, Suarez, breaks for Drogba's, the furthest forward for Chelsea. Supports arriving either side, Mata to the right, Kalu to the left. Deeper, faithful Lampard. Drogba sails past Henderson and caught by Suarez. Well, I think it's a bit unfortunate here, Suarez. Didier Drogba looked as though he's going to have the ball just nicked off of him. Suarez came back. Just caught his foot as he was about to shoot. He thinks he can nick the ball here. And actually, Didier Drogba kicks into Luis Suarez. Phil Dowd went down to get out of the way of the shot. He didn't want to get in the way of a Didier Drogba blaster. One good thing about Phil Dowd's refereeing is his communication skills. He's always prepared to have a chat with players. Sometimes he'll have a rant at them, which is, uh, makes for good viewing too. He's explained his uh, point of view. I don't think anybody could uh, misunderstand it. We saw Chelsea wanting to shoot from long range in the first half against Pepe Reina, and Lampard does. He scored from that sort of distance in the other half against Spurs in the semi final. Watch again. He bend it one way. What he does, he hits right at the back of the ball and it dips and swerves halfway down. 
Ronaldo swerving away from goal on this occasion. The technique that Ronaldo uses, Pirlo in Italy uses, Frank Lampard. Seems to work for them. A different technique to many other players. but he comes into that category. It's a good, excellent play from Chelsea. Time with the cross field ball. That's what I think has been excellent as well. Yeah, he probably had to go for the strike. Just onside. Oh, the cross the goalkeeper. Suarez. Continue the has got plenty of pace, but he's caught. He's given that Carroll a chance here. Andy Carroll onto his strong side. Goal for Liverpool. They are back in it, and Carroll stepped up from the bench. He did very well, having decided not to have a swing at the ball when it first came to him. This is all about Liverpool, passing forward, running forward. There's a good tackle, he's not offside. That's good defensive work from Downing. Then Carroll gets away from John Terry, and the only place he's going to score is by lifting it high into the net. Because check goes down early. It's a really good finish. Mandy Carroll gets away from John Terry. So good feet, and then he goes high into the roof of the net. Now we've got a game on. And the matter's offside. You could almost smell it at half time, Stuart. It was building up. It is an advantage uh, for the whole occasion when the teams are attacking the end where their supporters are. And Liverpool put into not exactly desperate stakes, but they have to uh, change their tactics. The likes of Carroll to be involved, pressing up the field as the ball was to get across to Carroll for the goal. And remember, in 2006 they were 2 0 down to West Ham and they went home with the cup. Here's Carroll. Right by Henderson. Well, they're inspired now, Liverpool. It's amazing what a goal can do. Here's the ball. Juan Suarez chested down by Andy Carroll. He certainly made a difference to this Liverpool side. He's had a poor season. What a way to finish it. He can get Liverpool right back into this game. I'm not sure that Henderson and Andy Carroll are getting on particularly well at the moment. <laughs> a bit of history. He's chewing away at his uh, top there. And Carroll is uh, doing well for the man uh, who bought it. And here is uh, Bellamy. Swings off the top of Terry's head. Collected by Downing. Jose Enrique. Gerard. Territory again should be the message, really. It comes out to Glenn Johnson. He's going for a corner, not getting it. Well, what an impact Andy Carroll has made. Not only has he scored the goal, he started to hold up the play. He's now got these fans excited. Really held off a challenge, played it out to the wide area, got himself into the box. Something we just haven't seen from him this season. Well, certainly not enough. Well, you and I did his game here. This is J.W. Henry. The, uh, part of the ownership of Liverpool, of course, from the uh, U.S. of A. Learning as they go along about the thrills and the time for spills. That's this wonderful game. It is a worldwide game. It's easy for Roberto Di Matteo now. 
too easily for him at 2-0, and they were counter-attacking with pace and creating opportunities. And now he's going to maybe change one or two things. The momentum is with Liverpool, but the lead is with Chelsea. But it's been halved by Andy Carroll. Bellamy. Suarez. It's up to his tricks again. If you get the ball into Suarez in the top third of the field, he will make things happen. He went past John Terry before Andy Carroll came on really easily. Check had to make a save. But he's an inspired player, Suarez. He gets players around him and he gets the ball right up the pitch. slightly soft these days, Ivanovic, big centre-half, showed great pace to get there in the first place and then threw himself to the ground. Here's a bit of trickery from Andy Carroll. John Terry can't move his feet quickly enough. And there it is, Pedicek actually got a decent hand to it. It's a familiar celebration, not so much that one. That 2-0 dangerous lead. The 2-1 is still a lead. Roberto Di Matteo has got to galvanise his troops and maybe, maybe, make a change in personnel himself. Not sure. I think that Torres may be coming at some point. Not sure if he's going to fit in. Because Didier Drogba has led the line really well. Surely he wouldn't take Didier Drogba off. He's been a real threat. Scored his goal. Well, they just haven't worked as a pair, have they? Chelsea Torres and Drogba. That's Jose Enrique. Shot wide by uh, Gerard to Bellamy. Johnson, Gerard. Oh, came to Carroll. And it comes back again. Chelsea could be in trouble. Carroll gets there. Gerard to hit it. Just rushed it a little bit, he's got the technique to do much better. I was going to say, of all the players that you'd want that ball to fall to, probably in English football, it would have been Steven Gerrard. How many times have you seen him volley from the edge of the box? With great accuracy and power. He's almost trying to help him there. He knows they are back in the game. The momentum is with them. And Andy Carroll is winning balls in the air. Exactly why Liverpool spent so much money on him. Example of why this competition never fails to captivate, to enchant a global audience. There's a little flick on once again. Carroll winning against John Terry just offside, Luis Suarez. Talking about FA Cup finals. He came on here. Just as the in-right came on against Manchester United. And Scored a couple of goals, didn't he? Substitutes coming on and making a big difference to games. More recently, on a decade or so ago, Teddy Sheringham came on very early in the 1999 Cup final and scored. Manchester United, that was. Oh, nice, good run from Henderson, breaking forward from midfield because they've only got two in midfield, so it's difficult for them to break forward and support. He did it well there, Henderson, and then didn't make the most of the space that he had. There is Fernando Torres. Supply line. Johnson probably shouldn't have won that. 
matter. Sorted out by Jordan Henderson. Suarez. Still. Oh, and check. In trouble. Down by his right hand post. Just got down there in the nick of time. This is where he's clever. Threatens to shoot. McKill doesn't get tight enough. Lampard goes on the wrong angle. He was trying to block off the pass. Now Suarez to get the shot in. Quickly taken corner has caught Chelsea napping. Aga jumping, but uh, a bit lucky to get away with that. They were because I just watched Aga's run. He ran into the center of the, the danger area. Nobody picked him up. The cross was just that fraction too high for him. Chelsea have gone to sleep defensively. They've been rattled here. And maybe that tiredness that we talked about is starting to come into play. The crowd are trying to get behind them. Andy Carroll. Oh, strange position that he took up in the first place because he was nowhere near the box. Right outside the box, suddenly realised that the cross was going to come in. He makes up a lot of ground. Well, he didn't fancy the header, did he? Of recent FA Cup finals, the highest played, highest paid place league uh, team has prevailed. Downing. Cole can only deflect it away for Liverpool throw. 15 minutes to go. Unless Liverpool can take it for extra time. And maybe even turn the whole thing around. And not in 90 minutes. Suarez, Johnson, Carroll's up there again! Yeah, that's brilliant from Andy Carroll, back in a way, he was never favourite to win this ball, he had to back off, and then he gets around in behind Ivanovic, gets the leap in early, very good to head this one down, and he's a threat. Chelsea have benefited so often by Didier Drogba bullying the opposition. It's Carroll who's bullying them. Roberto Di Matteo. He's going to bring on Raul Morales. Ex Liverpool, of course. Yeah, he's he's right right start of the season for Ramirez. A slight injury there because his energy is the one that can, can counter attack. Actually, though, Matt is going to come out to this left hand side. Just play a five-man midfield. Kalou's gone to the right-hand side. Mikel's going to be the holding midfield player. Morales and Lampard are going to play either side of him. Trump has just uh, dropped to the ground there, as if he might have uh, tweaked a muscle. He took it down with his chest and hoped to hold off Henderson, but didn't. This is when the opposition starts to get annoyed with Didier Drogba. Starts to go down far too regularly. Concern is okay, but it just breaks up the game. This goes back to my view that you should just carry on playing and the, let the physio come on. They won't, players won't go down quite so readily then. And Fernando Torres wonders whether this might lead to his opportunity, and of course, if it is an injury, 
And we're two weeks away today for the Champions League final. As Torres waits, Liverpool are going to uh, make another alteration. Don't count. It's going to come on for Craig Bellamy. Counters, very instrumental in the Carling Cup. Against the Cardiff has a substitute. That, of course, was 2 2, wasn't it? It was. Liverpool played really well this season. It's when he's been almost up front. I know he's not going to be up front with Suarez, but when they've linked up together, they've got a great understanding, Suarez and Cal. He's got a glimpse of Steve Clark there, of course, as uh, Liverpool's assistant to Kenny Douglas, but played 400 games for Chelsea. Gerrard. Work by Downing. Lost out to uh, Kalu. Uh, Liverpool fans are sharing your scepticism about Didier Drogba and injury. If you pull your groin muscle, you can't carry up, can't come back on two minutes late and start running around and try and hold up the plate. Out. Cross stopped by Cole. Over 89,000 here on the edge of their seats. I'm sure wherever you're watching, you're feeling the same. The reason is in the balance. And the reason that Cout might have been brought on is to get at the far post. We saw Henderson win a couple of headers, didn't we, against Ashley Cole? Cout is a good header of the ball. If they get crosses on from that left hand side, Cout against Ashley Cole could be a problem for Chelsea. Fighting ball for the midfield man. What a run from Suarez inside Kalu. What a great cutback, but then Kalu makes a mess of it. And Jordan Henderson, finish wasn't right, and once again Andy Carroll giving a real volley. <laughs> no love lost there. And Kalu, I think, was directed at Fernando Torres. Be uh, leaving Liverpool in the summer after six years or so of very uh, devoted service. Downing to Jose Enrique. Downing again. Gerard with a give and go with Suarez. Not to Glenn Johnson. It's a Suarez, it must be! Is it over the line? Celebrated by Andy Cole, but no goal. It seemed as though he must score. Suarez has gone across to the assistant. Andy Garrett. Yeah, my first thought is that it's a goal. That was my first view. Bit of a great angle here on the halfway line. Looks like it's a brilliant save from Petr Cech, no matter what. What a pass it was. Just clipped into the far post. Andy Carroll gets up well. Ooh. No, it's a great save. What a brilliant save from Petr Cech. Absolutely brilliant from the goalkeeper. 
Peril does everything right, he puts power in it, he comes to the far post. Suarez has been booked. Well, of course, that was the end where Juan Mata was awarded a goal for Chelsea in the semi-final, when the ball clearly didn't cross the line. But it seemed to go up in a straight line from Czech onto the bar, which tells you that it couldn't have been wholly over the line. A cry for proper goal line technology will go out again, and it will be led by Andy Carroll in Liverpool. The replays we've seen seem to suggest pretty strongly that the assistant referee was right. Celebration is to see who has scored. The, uh, the goal scorer, when it's clearly a goal, gives you the, the indication. And Andy Carroll went away with a man who believed he'd scored. Maybe that was just wishful thinking. But Liverpool, certainly the dominant side now. What a cross it was. This is the angle. Hole of the ball, remember. Good decision, unless you're absolutely sure you can't give it. And I think the assistant referee's made a good decision, and I think it's an absolutely brilliant save from Petr Cech. Liverpool millimetres away from levelling it up at Wembley, but here's Suarez. If he can't get there, it's in behind Ivanovic. It was a nice ball, it's a goal kick there. Chelsea defenders. 25 minutes or so, and they certainly were up to that point. And the arrival of Andy Carroll has triggered all that off. And there's the run up to it. Brilliant from Glenn Johnson. What a pass from Luis Suarez. Everything about Liverpool's build up play was really good. Perfect cross. Andy Carroll getting to the far post. He thinks he's in. Well, he, he thinks it's not. And third count wasn't far from getting the knockdown in as well. Was following up, the other players were turning and celebrating. Not quite that long. Mm. Right, the fisherman, and the catch that got away from the dark leash. Chelsea are hanging on here, mm. they've stopped playing. It's not just that Andy Carroll's come on because he certainly has played well, that's helped them, of course. They've just played with a greater tempo, they've played with more urgency, they've passed the ball forward, they've had runners forward. Liverpool, they've played with more belief. It's been a really good display in the last 25 minutes from them. Prior to that, you were saying Liverpool of the disappointing Premier League, now you're saying Liverpool of the cup competitions this season. Fairly. Handball, I think Phil Dow's just pointed for the corner. They've got a free kick there, it's the same place that Harold scored from against Everton. The corner's been given. Carroll is lining up to make a run from the edge of the area. It's fizzed across in his direction, but it's Ivanovic who heads it away. He's a long, heavy minutes on the shoulders of Chelsea. Oh, and they are not marked here. Oh, and it was the Scott who was coming in. And when it broke free, it seemed it must go to a Liverpool player. Henderson's there. Chelsea are all over the place. Full down has given Liverpool a free kick. Oh, defending from Chelsea when that first ball came in was non existent. They've gone to sleep now, Chelsea. They're just hanging on here. There's no organisation. This is the foul afterwards where Mikel. Has already been, but I don't think he does too much wrong there. He gets the ball with one foot and then he actually plays it with the second one. This is the ball forward. Look at the Chelsea back line. In the end, Ivanovic gets back and gets the block in. And these are moments that have replayed and replayed year after year when the FA Cup final comes around and we delve into the visual history books. Stuart Downing, the 
In his first season as a Liverpool player, one thing he hasn't contributed as often as he would like is goals. But it might not be his, it might be Steven Gerrard who can never be accused of not going for goal when the opportunity presents itself. It does favour the left footer, but the right footer is Gerrard. Corner. He can't score. Experts think he's got another set play, which Liverpool have got. I'm sure the ball was 10 yards there. And we run back for Chelsea. Not be enough, they're defending very wearily here. You're quite right, you can have as many players as you like in the box if they don't attack the ball. Organise and mark well, a problem. Goes Lampard with the second header, the third was from Raul Morales. Mata, Morales uh, trying to chase on in the manner that brought him a famous Champions League goal recently against Benfica. Skirtle, the corner. And he's going to have to get his troops going here, John Terry. The last corner that came in, Ivanovic did really well in the air up against Andy Carroll. Whip it in, says Aga to Downing. And whip it in, he does. Terry trying to get a free kick out of it. Successfully. Thread, which is holding Chelsea's hopes aloft at the moment, is in the danger of being snapped by Liverpool. Suarez. Talking about earlier, Suarez tries to nutmeg players in those positions. Actually, Chelsea defended him well at times. Henderson, Johnson, able to line up the shot. Lampard in the way. No handball. There's a real play on if the pass is a good one for Salomon Kalou. Liverpool scurrying back and surrounding the uh, Ivorian. Gerrard, driving his team forward, driving the ball forward. Dangerous boot raised by Count. Another Roberto Di Matteo change. From Maluda, some instructions from Steve Holland there. He's uh, scored in the semi-final. Premier League against Queen's Park Rangers as well. Kalu getting some more instructions, he's not going off. Five added minutes, incidentally. Juan Mata, regularly substituted. Takes some of the craft out of Chelsea. As they go into five minutes. And if it's anything like the last five minutes, you bet Liverpool will have a chance. They will get a chance. Get the ball in the box, I think Chelsea is struggling to defend at the moment, particularly in midfield. Even when they had that counter-attack, looked at the way Liverpool raced back and got five players around Kalou, and Chelsea couldn't get in support of him. Well, this was going on with the substitution, there's a council of war in there between Terry, Ivanovic and Mikel. Mikel's going to play as close as he can to those two central defenders, I think, to try and get another layer of protection. Up towards Drogba. Puff and smacked on by Rayner. Carroll, very confident, he's probably right to be. Well, he's onside, Andy Carroll on his good left foot again. Again, it's a let off for Chelsea. And they might need more of those because it's a possession squandered once more. The team that are hanging on to this 2 1 lead. Here's Martin Skirtle. He can come forward because everyone is back for Chelsea and Kent. I think it's found uh, Dan Johnson. But the problem that Chelsea have is there's no way out for them. Yeah, especially if Mikel is now going to play almost in between his two centre halves, and that's his job. And when Pepe Reina kicked it long, Carroll brought it down on his chest, played a one-two, and he was in again. Skirtle. Agger. Check. Claims. He's the hero. He's the one who somehow kept out Andy Carroll. Would have been two for the down leash substitute. Maluda looks like he's going to play 
quite high up on this left-hand side. Real biting stuff for these supporters. Long from Rayner. Could this be the making of Andy Carroll? No matter what the score is today, could this be the, the lift that makes him play so much better in a Liverpool shirt and justifies the money that Kenny Dalglish has spent on him? Skirtle. There's no uh, Chelsea player that far up the field once it dropped away from Drogba's zone. Stop Liverpool coming out at pace with Jose Enrique. the point about weariness in the Chelsea and it's maybe that's one of the factors Liverpool looking very lively but they've only got two minutes to take it into extra time at Wembley count I really want to see this out that'll use up some of those seconds as a sponsor of name F1 Mata as the man of the match. So the cameras are pointing out on him a bit of a compliment, I'm sure, from uh, David Luiz. Not fit for this game. Saw hamstring, desperately trying to get ready, like Gary Cahill, to be in contention for the Champions League final. Drogba. He's got a free kick here. They just just got in front. Now, see, that Gerard. is what you expect from Didier Drogba as the big centre forward. They need somebody to hold it up. He gets himself up front. It's a good kick from Petacek. He brings the first ball down on his chest. The next tackle that's going to come in, he gets his body in the way and produces a foul off Steven Gerrard. That is Didier Drogba, as he should be every moment of the game. What are they going to do here, Chelsea? Will they shoot? I suppose uh, the best thing, if you're not going to put it in the top corner, is to make sure it goes into the crowd. And, and the Chelsea, Chelsea fans crowd as well. Yes, <laughs> they won't be rushing to get it back. So Lampard has a crack, and it's had to be dealt with by Rayner, but he has got the ball. Chelsea left five back against three up for Liverpool. Carroll. Now Morelis can tuck it to Drogba. We're dealing in seconds here at Wembley. Drogba missed to Wembley. Pulls it forward, and Rayner always presented a chance here. Chelsea couldn't take through Kalou, but Lampard quickly onto the scene. Maluda, what's in his mind? Keep the ball, and you get the cut. Lampard heading for the corner. Dabble, check his watch. And Morelis, it's not an easy ball on for him. Drogba, who's come alive again. Maluda, suddenly a bit of order restored. Chelsea have been under the cosh for the last uh, third of this game, certainly since Andy Carroll pulled it back to 2 1. But Chelsea win at the new Wembley yet again. The fourth FA Cup in six years here. Di Matteo has his double as playing winner and now managing winner. For Drogba, he scored in four finals never been done before, a seventh winner's medal for Ashley Cole, and no domestic cup double for Liverpool, despite their heroic efforts. Stuart Robson. Well, I thought Chelsea were the dominant side for 60 minutes, and the game changed when Liverpool went and played four up front. They played with two wide players, they played with Andy Carroll next to Suarez, and suddenly they looked a different team. They pressed in midfield, they pushed Chelsea further back, and they just couldn't get that second goal. But what a last 30 minutes we had. Great football in that last 30 minutes. They couldn't have come closer to a second goal, could they? Petr Cech keeping out Andy Carroll's header right on the line up onto the...